Hello, welcome to another fun episode of Learning Math with Vanessa. I hope it's fun and also at the same time simple for you because whatever seems difficult, I am going, I'm trying to make it look simple with the help of understanding a simple concept called constant difference. If we don't know this concept, we may think that it is a complicated question whereby we need to use our variable x and y and that is not so appropriate for a primary school student and in most cases of uh, age related kind of questions the concept of constant difference may help you go about solving that particular that particular kind of question easily I'm not saying all the time, but I will say most of the time. For example, I gave birth to my eldest when I was 28, so I will always be 28 years older than her, right? Regardless whether it is 5 years ago, 15 years into the future, I will always be 28 years older than her. Simple. So let's take a look at this question. Sally is 40 years old and her son is twice her daughter's age. Sally will be thrice her son's age when her daughter is 12 years old. How old will Sally be when her two children's combined age equals to her age? Simple questions once you apply the concept of constant difference. And with that, I can actually use the model to even simplify this question. But I will say the understanding and the application of the concept of constant difference will come before the model. The model is useless if the student doesn't understand the concept. So in these two scenarios, Okay, I'm going to use model blocks. At present, we know that Sally is 40 years old. Just draw one red block, but whatever color you want to color it. And we know that her son is twice her daughter's age. We don't know how old her daughter is at this present moment. So let's give her, well, a yellow block. And the sun will be twice, so double of that will be two, two blocks. Okay? So, as I said just now, the age difference is always the same. So the age difference between the daughter and the son is always one unit. Okay, this part here, I hope it's clear. Okay? So, likewise, for the age difference between Sally and her son is always this portion. Can you see that? When we can actually call it um, 40 minus 2 yellow blocks, okay, in model form. So, bear in mind this concept of the age difference is always the same because I'm going to make use of this important concept into scenario 2 rather when her daughter's age is 12 years old so remember when a daughter is 12 I don't know how many years later never mind what we do know is that I have to add it could be 4 years later 5, 6, 7 I'm not going to guess so we know that it will be the same number of years Okay, that is added to all three people here. Correct? So this is, I choose to add on the left hand side so as not to disrupt my difference. Okay, so now that we know the daughter is 12 years old, okay, so maybe you can change it to green. Well, it looks like some soccer season with yellow and green. 
Okay, so, and then, using the concept of constant difference, the sun must be 12 years old plus 1 unit. And we know that at this point, when the daughter is 12, Sally will be thrice. So, Sally will be oh, thrice. So, three times. So, everything we have to multiply by three. So, the green block and the yellow block. So, multiply by three throughout. You'll get this for the Sally's age. Okay, clear? So, I would say then in expression, we can call it um, two yellow blocks plus two or plus 24. Okay, right? And there you are. Basically, we have solved the whole question with just using model. Because once you're able to find a value for the one yellow block, you'll be able to know what is the present age of the daughter and the son. Okay, because they are equal, all right? So, how do we do it? Well, continue with the model. So I can put it on top here. That means transferring this whole information instead of using uh, the red block, as what I said just now. Since they are the same, I can transfer up. Okay, all this. Okay, transfer up because they are the same. So, can you solve what is the value of one yellow block? Wow, still can't see it. Oh, never mind. Because I have PowerPoint, I can do the job for you. But in the exam time or in your own practice, you may not even need to shift or whatever. Because later I'm going through just with using units, just using expressions, you can actually solve it easily. So, can you see it now? So, take away 24, you would have. Take away 24 from 40, you will have the value of the four yellow blocks. So or you can call it units because this is what all the students are familiar with. Okay, so mm, four units plus 24 will be 40. And then take away 24, you have blah, blah, blah. Okay, not blah, blah, like Then you work out to be um, one unit or one yellow block is actually four. Okay, so clear? So once you know that at present, as of now, the daughter is four years old, so the son must be double that, twice, so be eight years old. Okay, so what's next? So what is the combined age of now? We have four plus eighteen, which is twelve. Okay, and that we know that that is a difference of twenty-eight. So. How old will Sally be when her two children's combined age equals to her age? The answer will be 28 years later. Just 40 plus 28, that's all. <laughs> but why? Okay, um, think in terms of that. For every one year, the combined age is 1 plus 1. Because Sally will be, uh, sorry, the son will be one year older, the daughter will be one year older. So as a combined age, there will be 2. So Mrs. Lim will be 1, so take away the, dif the difference is 1. So every year, they are able to close the gap of 1. So how long do you need to close the gap of 28? So 28 divided by 1. We should give you 28. So 28 years later, Sally will be, or the combined age of the children will be equal to Sally's age. Okay, so that's it. So next, move on to just using units to represent the solution. So the same thing. Um, instead of using the yellow block, I just call it the daughter H to be one unit. And then you know how to work out for the son will be two groups of one unit, two units. Likewise, um, the age difference, the concept age difference for the daughter and the son will be one unit. And the age difference for the mother and the son will be 40 minus two units. Okay? So, using this piece of inf um, these two pieces of information to scenario two, when a daughter is 12. So again, the daughter is 12, son, one unit plus 12. Okay, likewise, because it's thrice, 
her son's age. So for Sally, you have to multiply by three throughout the whole expressions. So we get three, um, three times one unit, three times 12. So we have three units plus 36. And what is the expressions for the age difference between Sally and her son? Will be three units plus 36 bracket or minus bracket one unit plus 12. So in this case, you need to minus take away one unit you need to take away 12 okay so you are left with two units plus 24 okay minus everything minus one unit minus 12 so that you have these two equal these two value which are equal oh do you see it so these two are equal basically this is your equation so you can say, oh, two units plus 24 equals to 40 minus two units. Here, uh, as an expression, I will always put the units on the left hand side. So, oh my, I have this minus two units here. What do I do in order to make it zero I plus two units? So remember when you do that on the right hand side, you have to do that on the left hand side. That's how you manipulate the expressions okay so now we have a uh, two units plus two units would be equal to 40 minus 24 and the same your same result one unit is four so again the rest is what we have gone through I don't want to repeat again so this is how we'll get the answer of 68 so Sally will be 68 years old that's it for this uh, fun learning i hope it's fun after all but the most important i hope i've made it simple for you to for students and even for parents to teach their own children that is my very intention at the end of the day i hope to see more children more students loving max just like i do that's it i hope you have enjoyed and please give me a like or dislike if you hate it and or even subscribe to my channel hope to see you again that's it. Bye.